Okay, so spot number two. It's pretty empty, but it's still really windy. And I have not mowed the grass here. I will probably get bit pretty good by uh, mosquitoes and whatnot. This is a pretty calm spot. I just have to watch for these trees up here. Start out with the scorpion. Okay, so brakes are on four. Spool tension is set for a slow fall. Wow, that was really good. It's going a pretty good distance. I believe this lure is around an eighth of an ounce. But I'll weigh it when I get home. Let me see if I can go down on the brakes. I'll go to three and a half. That went really far, but there was an overrun. Wasn't too bad though. This thing was throwing uh, this little minnow about as far as the Scorpion DC was throwing that quarter ounce crankbait. I'm going to go back to four. Oh, I see some bubbles over there. It's probably some turtles. There's a lot of turtles in here. So overall, this scorpion is, uh, Handling this light lure really, really good. I'd say that's going... Oh crap, it went over a tree. This isn't good. Yep, I broke off. I'll say that lure was going about a good 70, 80 feet, I'd estimate. Now I gotta tie on a new snap. That's actually a good chance to try the scorpion out. The 70, I should say. I have another lure that's the same size. Same weight. Let's see what the 70 can do with it. If I get hung up again in the tree, I'm gonna move over. But for now, these trees are kind of protecting me from the wind. Oh, there's the first mosquito bite.
Yeah, this is not handling the same lure nearly as well. Yep, mosquitoes are everywhere. Should have expected it being close to the water. Okay, definitely a lob cast is gonna get you the best results with this 70. Kinda got to just ease it out there. You can't really fire it out like you could with the BFS. Man, I feel about six mosquito bites since I got here. Damn. Okay, we're sticking with the 70. Let's see if I can get it past that sign out there. It's definitely not handling this uh, lure nearly as good as the VFS. Not even close. I mean, you can throw it a fishable distance if you're fishing like a small creek, but the control, the accuracy, just doesn't seem to be there. Probably getting around 50 feet. I'm going to turn the dial all the way up to five. Loosen the spool tension a little bit. All right, here we go. The wind is coming directly at me too. This is going to be tough. Okay, that's actually much better. But the distance is still pretty bad. Okay, so let me go down to four on the external dial. So the distance and the accuracy is not as good on this Scorpion. I'm not even getting close to that sign out there. Okay, so let me see if going to three brakes on in the internally will help. Gain just about a foot or two. Let me go down to three on the external dial. See if that'll help. Okay, that's much better. So three is definitely better. It's still fairly controllable, 
but the accuracy is not there. And this is the exact same rod as I'm using with the, the BFS. Okay, probably got close to five feet to the sign. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of it. I got within a couple of feet of the sign. Hopefully you guys can see that. Freaking almost fell in. So the release point has definitely got to be sooner with this 70. You got to let go of the spool a little sooner for better accuracy and distance. Okay, so we're gonna take this off the 70 and stick it back on the BFS and see if we can reach that sign. I have a good feeling that we will. First cast, he went past the sign by about five feet. took it into a tree. I'm, I'm going to lose this bait, but let's see. Mm. This line is pretty dang strong. I wonder if the... I lost the bait. Oh man, all right. Got to retie 